What? Good morning. Wow, you're quick. Oh my gosh, hi. My real camera's broken. You guys that. And um, <laughs> I can't film anything because the replacement camera I bought also was broken. It showed up broken. <laughs> so I thought I would just like leave for a little while with my webcam and see if anybody showed up to hang out. Oh, thank you, Gail. I really appreciate all of you. You guys are so fun. This might be challenging with someone in my lap. So what are you guys up to this morning? Is it morning where you are? We're having a really, really nice day and we've had so few. Oh my goodness. So, I don't, can you hear the birds? They're going crazy. And you might even get to see a hummingbird right here. It's one of my favorite things. Cursing what? I don't, what is that? Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. I have a summer top going too, Gail, but I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to read comments <laughs> if I was trying to knit because I'm ready to pick up stitches around the neck and the armhole. So I'm just making dishcloths. And I know, Kathleen, oh my goodness. Good morning. Oh, hi. I'm <laughs> uh, so how is the summer so far? It's so short so far, I know. But we've actually had two nice days in a row. It's kind of a big deal around here. We were in the pool yesterday. It was cold though. We don't have a heater. <laughs> when we get older, we'll probably have to have one, but right now we are just brave. Yeah, it's been terrible here for real. Even, um, like I said, you might get to see a hummingbird. And normally they are here like the last couple days in April and they didn't get here till May 5th. They were like 10 days late, which means we don't have any babies yet flying. We probably have babies in the nest. Maybe that's more than you guys wanted to know. Oh, he's normal. What are you doing? Is it too dark to see him? <laughs> we have seen that, Deb. In fact, we saw it using hula hoops. We do have a solar cover and we use it. Um, but still, because it gets so cold here at night, it was like in the 50s again last night, and it's like the end of June. So, I don't know. I'm ready to move, like, somewhere like Texas. Hey, Kim, how are you? <laughs> I 
honestly, every time I log on live, I'm like, no one's going to watch, and here's a bunch of you. My husband's off at a club meeting this morning, and we were talking about all of you guys this morning, and I was like, I can't film. I feel a little weird. I'm just weaving these super plain dishcloths, and I'm down to probably the last the last one that'll fit on this warp. And I thought maybe I would just log on and chit chat and talk to you guys. I don't know if you have questions. I have questions about my own life, to be honest. Oh no, I didn't know there were tornadoes in Texas. I thought that was a Midwest thing. We get them. But, you know, I can't film. I'm making boring dishcloths. They're going to be pretty, though. I'm weaving. Finally. Boy, were you guys right when you were like, maybe you really are a weaver, but. Oh, thank you, Gail. You know what? It's really funny with the weaving because I think everybody's a little different, but I noticed that when I'm weaving, I go with either color or texture. And um, so I like weaving plain ones with really pretty yarns. I feel like then the yarn does all the work and I don't have to work that hard. But I made my mom some towels last year. Good morning, Marcy. I've heard you guys are much soggier than we are. Although I've never told you guys this. We have a, I don't know, can you see the woods? Yeah, a little bit. So behind these woods, there is like, they call it a lake. I would call it a pond with marsh around it. And it's literally overflowing into where we live. And we've never had that. It's crazy. And the mosquitoes. Oh my gosh. They love me. <laughs> and they get in our house all the time. Yeah, I hope you are safe, Marcy, and I hope you're not underwater. I hope you're all safe and not getting hit with tornadoes and underwater. Tornadoes can be really scary. We've had some big ones here before. Do you, Kim, don't you just wish you could find something that is like, I don't know, not so gross it feels gross it smells gross the bug spray I am covered in bites I mean literally John has nothing and I'm covered my whole back yeah affordable no joke I tried that stuff that new skin stuff that's really expensive I've heard that Kim I'm sorry, I've heard that Kathleen. And I did try it, but I don't think I tried it long enough. I think you need to, like... Oh, good, Marcy, you've got some pup going. I think I need to try it for a longer period, but it's so hard to test if it's helping. But it says, I've read that they like women better, the mosquitoes. I've read that they like... Um, Type O blood, which is me. <laughs> I'm O positive. So, and apparently I must excrete a lot of CO2 because I'm telling you. He has nothing and I can't even go out to put the pool cover on. Oh, a lot of it. Okay. But do I need to, is it something that will like build up? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm asking Kathleen about the B12. I do have a B complex, but it's just hard to know if it's working because you're trying to avoid them to begin with, you know? He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, what is happening? <laughs> he can see a dog on TV. 
I'm just hem stitching these guys. <laughs> I guess I wanted to know what you guys are all working on. I know Gail said she's working on a summer top. Okay, so I need to take it every day. I'm going to get some. I'll get to just be 12 because right now I take a complex. But I'm the worst at taking pills. You guys, if I ever get an illness that requires me to take medicine every day in order to stay alive, I probably won't make it. I'm just really bad at remembering. Oh, I just messed up. So what are you guys working on? Ooh, Kathleen's spinning. Kim is flicking locks. Oh gosh, Marcy's spinning. Ooh, oh my gosh, Marcy, you are very, uh, what's the word? You're very ambitious. Oh gosh, Chris, what are you going to spin with that? Because I have Surrey in my stash and I have spun some before. Usually I make lace weight with it, but I'm curious. I'm always curious. Like, what does everybody do? You're not crazy. If you're not trying stuff, then you're not learning. Oh, Deb is doing a, a test net. All right. I've got a cotton top going made of empathy. I mean, a summer top. Did I say cotton? I don't even know. See, this is where I can't edit out my... <laughs> the goofy things I say. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love it. See, I often think I'm so weird because I think about fiber. If I'm not weaving or spinning or knitting, a lot of times I'm thinking about it or I'm thinking about this channel. And I oftentimes think like, it's not really a, a hobby for me. It's like, I guess a passion because who thinks about it all the time? Only people that are just a little... <laughs> but so I'm always glad to find that other people are just as as me. <laughs> do you, Gail? Do you feel like you think about it all the time? Oh gosh. I have so many ideas that I just have no time to do. That's terrible. Jobs are the worst. They take up so much of your time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so grateful that you guys feel this way. I dream about it too sometimes. And occasionally I'll have a dream about all of you. <laughs> Which is really weird. But I kind of feel like I found my tribe because <laughs> I like fiber pork. I like it. Okay, I'm reading. Do you, do you really, Gail? <laughs> you know what? I've never thought about that. Oh, porn. Fiber porn. Oh, got it. <laughs> yeah I had a friend visit last year in August and she was like there's like fiber or yarn in every room of the house I think the only room I didn't have any in was the bathroom <laughs> my son's room I mean like, there's probably none in the pantry but that is where I keep the extra dawn you can't run on a dawn if you're going to wash fleeces
I only have a couple more minutes. Does anybody have any questions? I'm always curious if, like, I leave you all thinking about stuff you'd like to know. <laughs> That's a good excuse, Kathleen, if he ever pisses you off. Well, Gail, what if you get stuck somewhere? I used to fear that. Like I used to keep stuff in my car because especially when I was picking up kids from sports and school and all that stuff. Cause I was like, what if I just get stuck? You never know when a coach is going to decide to keep those kids late. Other people just stand there. I can't be left alone with my thoughts. It's not good. I hope you guys can't hear that. My neighbor is obsessed with his yard. It's like he wants to make it look like a golf course. Like an emergency break glass and it has sock needles and a one skein of ball already bald yarn. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Can you hear it? I don't know what he's doing, but he is literally trying to make it look like a golf course every day. I guess that's his fiber, right? Oh. Honestly, I don't understand why you move to the woods and then try to make your yard look like a golf course. But I guess who am I to make fun of his hobby? I mean... <laughs> oh, this isn't work. But I'm curious. So I just hem stitched these. Oh, I can't reach my camera or I would show you. Uh, maybe I can just tip it up. Luther's like, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, whoops. That was a bad idea. So I just hem stitched right here on a new one. So wh what do you do with the end? Because what I've been doing is just kind of like weaving it in through. And then I wa after I wash it, I trim it. Exactly, Kathleen. <laughs> but I'm I'm just curious. Like I don't, you guys. I'm like almost completely self-taught. I've watched some videos occasionally. But I guess that's still self-taught, huh? I've never, I don't take classes very often. Because I feel like if I want to learn something, I mean, I remember the days where if you wanted to learn, you had to go get a book, like from the library or whatever. And that's how I learned origami when I was a little kid. And I just threw my scissors across the room and I tilted up my loom. But um, now, you know, we have so much access to information. We can learn almost anything without going anywhere. Isn't it great? It's so cool. I'm still hoping you're gonna get to see a hummingbird. Yeah, what I like about the videos is that if you need to slow something down or, or go back to it later, like it's just always there. You know, if you go to a class, you can't do that. 
Um, we have kind of a big fiber festival, and it, I don't know if you've been watching for a whole year, which only Kathleen, I think, has been. <laughs> Kathleen, you've been with me a while. Um, whoops. I went to, we have quite a good size fiber festival in Michigan in August, and they have classes. And people are signing up, and they're very excited, and I just can't get jazzed about it, because I know my brain will start processing one piece during class, and then I might miss things. What are you growling at? And then you can't get it back. It isn't like a video. You're going to have to offer me a video with these classes, you know what I'm saying? I want to go so bad. Kathleen, I think I'm going to go next year. We've been talking about it around here. I really want to. I wanted to this year, but it was kind of too late. Part of it is like when you go to those retreats or any of that stuff and you get to be among all those people who understand you, it's like... There is something comforting or, I don't know, the words inspiring and comforting and a bunch of stuff, right? To know that all those people in that room are as crazy as you are. I'm not crazy. I just, I'm passionate about making stuff. And getting to hang out with all of you has been super fun for me. I, and normally I'm like introverted. So starting this channel was really difficult and scary and still like I'll get super sweaty <laughs> before I have to go live, especially I get like sweaty and crazy. So Oh, Chris, I think I have a friend that was at that. No, I'm sorry. She was in Idaho, not Iowa. Oh. I mean, the one in Michigan isn't giant. Because, like, I've been to Maryland and I've been to Rhinebeck. And honestly, I would go back to Rhinebeck in a hot second. It was so much fun. But it's partly because I went there with two of my friends See, I just messed up because I'm blathering. And, you know, it does depend who you go with, how much fun you have. I mean, I had fun with the other friend, too, but the first one was, like, it was, like, a big slumber party. It's fun. So I haven't really talked a ton about this, but I am actually going to stay the Michigan Fiber Festival, they have a campground. And as you guys have heard, probably, we got a camper this spring, which is still not usable. We kind of got taken and there were leaks. And as we like ripped, we ripped out the floor to put a new floor in because it had gross carpet. And um, we found wet spots and then we just it snowballed and we've taken and replaced all kinds of wood inside the walls and insulation and it's been kind of not that fun but whatever that's in october is that right kathleen i've never been to wisconsin i mean i've been to wisconsin i haven't been to wisconsin sheep and wool but I have friends that go. That would be very fun. Marcy, for real. In fact, <laughs> my poor husband spent the whole day yesterday. Oh, is it September? Um, throwing away wet insulation. Like... I don't know what you call it, sistering up those little 
they're not joists in a wall. What are the framing? I don't know. You got to take a window completely out, but it's going to be cute. I took the couch out and recovered it. It's not exactly a professional job, but My fear is that we will get it all done and then we'll find a new leak <laughs> have to like tear it all apart. I mean, we have like done that rubber ceiling on the whole roof. I know you guys probably didn't want to hear about this. You want to hear about fiber, but um, taking the couch out, we bought flooring for it. I'm going to paint it inside because it is totally 90s. But it's gonna be like we have we might as well have just built a camper from scratch. He's an engineer, he probably could have done a better job. And I think the sad thing is we really liked the people who sold it to us and we thought they were telling us the truth, and then we got into it and found that like they had to rig the curtains up because the wall was so rotten that one of the curtain things had like pulled out of the wall. So somebody knew at some point, and it kind of makes you feel not great about, I don't know. Is it really? I think that is a great idea. Let me see what I can do. Not that you guys can't have a meetup without me. You don't need me. It's kind of like y'all know each other. But Wisconsin's not very far from me. I don't, I honestly feel like, uh, I guess at least we learned a lesson and we bought a older one used thinking I was gonna wanna Oh, well, I hope so. But I mean, because, you know, if somebody says it's more fun without you, that's not so great. <laughs> but I would love to let me see what I can do, because I, I think I could probably do it. It's not far from me. My sister lives way up north in Wisconsin. But yeah, it, it was a bummer. I mean, I do feel like we learned our lesson a little bit and we've never bought a camper that was like, you know, a little hotel room on wheels kind of like this one is. And so we didn't know some of the things to look for, but we learned. Not even sure why we would camp. I mean, we're in the woods, weird. Well, maybe someday, if I'm persistent, I'll be able to like travel around and do a bunch of fiber stuff and meet you all. Oh shoot, it's almost 10.30, you guys, I gotta go. John's gonna be home in a few minutes, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Oh, I will bring Luther, Marcy. That's why we bought the camper. We First of all, he is a service dog. And second of all, we bought the camper so I would have my own rolling hotel room and be able to take our dogs with us when I go places. He's actually sitting behind me. Can you look at Did you see that? <laughs> Bye, you guys. I hope you have fun and have a lot of time today to work on your projects. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. It's fun. I didn't get much done, but who cares? <laughs> Bye, guys.